Hello to all Interest TV listeners and viewers. Oriola reported their Q4 this morning, and we have the company's CEO, Katarina Gabrielsson, for interview. Hello, Katarina. Hi, Roli. So let's start with uh, Q4. What were the highlights and uh, how did the quarter go in, in, in your view? Mm. I think it had a quite decent, decent quarter. Uh, normally we say solid, but mm. let's change it to decent <laughs> in this case. Uh, if I look overall, we, we have like uh, grown the, uh, the net sales around 5% and also the EBIT um, uh, when we look at without excluding Svens Dostan to 6.2 million euros. Mm. Uh, and of course, if I look at, at uh, the business that has really performed, that's the distribution business, and especially in Sweden. Mm. Mm. And uh, if we look, look to the growth more, it was actually your invoicing in local currencies quite yep. grew quite well, yep. almost 10%. So yep. what was driving that? It's especially the dis distribution business, and, and especially Sweden. So of course, if you then look at currency effects and so on, you can really see that, that uh, in, if you look at in constant currency, mm. it's growing more. Yeah, mm. exactly. Mm. And then on profitability, you, you had now, I think, some uh, nice improvement if you compare to the previous yes. quarters and especially to the previous year. So yep. I, 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 there's ob obviously some underlying improvement as well. But mm. is there any seasonality in the business? There is, there is some seasonality. Yeah. If, you, if you go further back, you can see that quarter four is normally a strong quarter for mm. us. But absolutely, there is, like I said, it's also the underlying business. So it's mm. not only seasonality. Yeah, yeah. So you mm. can say that during the year there has yeah. been underlying improvement as absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, then if we, if we jump to the JV, your mm -hmm. Swedish pharmacy JV, mm -hmm. that actually reported uh, quite a substantial loss in, yes. in your PTL and also on their, on their own. Mm -hmm. So can you, can you comment a bit on that? I can comment to some there? extent yeah. since it's like, uh, you know, normally they should comment on the yeah. self. We can, we can say it like this, that, that um, we have done uh, several things during the year that has then now put, put the ground for the future mm -hmm. in these cases. Uh, the main reasons for, for the loss right now is the confidence uh, and, and um, that customers is like mm. um, not as confident as they normally are mm. in, in, the, in the environmental mm. parts that we have. Mm. And then, of course, we also have some struggles in the e-commerce with the profitability, like all e-commerce mm. players have. Mm. Mm. So that's, that's the main one. But looking forward, we are, we are now the biggest pharmacy chain in numbers of pharmacies. We have one brand, we have one customer club, we have a lot of processes in place and so on. So I'm looking with confidence to see that this will change. Yeah, mm. okay. Let's, let's mm. wait for mm. that. And then if we jump to the, some investments you have, you have announced or, or hinted at least. So firstly, the ERP mm. announcement you, you, mm. you made in January, quite mm. a big investment mm. in mm. basically your whole throughout your organization. Mm. So can you say a bit mm. something about that? What's, what's the purpose of that basically? Mm. Yeah, we announced that we will then invest uh, one, uh, 35 million euros in uh, ERP and warehousing managing system. This is very close connected to the strategy that we launched then when we talked last time, I mm. think. Yeah. And, and uh, in the strategy there is three goals. One is about uh, more efficiency and so on. So this is very close connected to that one. Mm. Because when you do these kind of things, today we are in two systems. We will have one system, the same processes and uh, master data and, and these kind of things. But it's also looking back to, to how can we then use the system to, to also uh, pr have services with more like um, fact-based services or mm. data, data mm. services, these kind of things. And we need to do that to be able to, to go to that level. Yeah, mm. and, and sh should we view that investment as, is it more like a replacement investment that you mm. have to do this or, or will it have some direct uh, kind of uh, cost benefits for you as well? I will say it's both mm. in, in these cases. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's like, uh, to some extent, yes, uh, we need to do certain things, mm. and, uh, but also absolutely benefits. Yeah, sure. Mm. Uh, then you also talked about uh, in the today's report on the possible renewal or even even re building a completely new warehouse mm. into into Finland and did I under understand correctly that the timeline would be so that you would first do the ERP and then potentially this warehouse la later on or we, you can say it like this we haven't decided exactly what we will do in Finland just that we should do something mm -hmm. yeah. but the, th the thought here is that there's no need to really do something in the in the warehouse we have today mm. so this is this will go hand in ha mm. hand whatever we decide with with uh, to do in Finland. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And 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 what's what's the kind of what is the trigger for doing something in, in Finland if you don't have to do something right now? No, why, but why, why you need to do something it's, it's later It's also on? about really secure, of course, like uh, that we have the the right facilities and the right mm. um, right way of being efficient as a company and, yeah. and uh, serve our customers in a good way. Yeah, mm. yeah. And and 
can you say something when when should we hear something more concrete on that, that uh we are working on that and and of course we will we will tell you as soon as we can we wanted to go out with this because it's like uh, i know there were some speculations mm. also about this and yeah. uh, i think it's better to be open that sure. we are looking in this yeah mm. okay mm. good uh then then finally on the swedish dose dispensing business you are in the divestment process and there was there was some delay now from the mm. competition authority side to your earlier uh, mm. expectations mm. so um, anything there that we should be worried about or not as i see it right now um of course you always want want a decision mm. uh, what we understand is that they are m- m- uh, looking for more um facts mm. uh, and more like um um background material from 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 all the companies in these cases yeah uh, so we are still like uh, seeing that we should close this in quarter two yeah yeah yeah, yeah. let's, let's mm. wait for that that one mm. as well and then then finally your guidance you mm. are guiding for improvement in in earnings yes. uh, without the dose dispensing business so uh, can you say anything about the mm. magnitude or the other drivers what's what's mm. driving that if, if you look at without the dose dispensing business you made a quite big big jump yeah. l- last year yeah. so what should we Yeah, we're not guiding on that since <laughs> we have, like, yeah. you know, we have we are having proving as the the highest one. Um, what we can say is that if you look at what we did like this year, we have a solid um, development in mm. the dis- distribution business, and we can also see that the market drivers uh, will continue to to grow that market. Mm. Uh, and and then if we look at the wholesale business, uh, the setup that we have in that right now is to both grow the volume. And then also have b- uh, higher profitability, yeah. and that's the base for it. Good. Mm. Let's see how the year goes. Thank yeah. you for the interview, and good luck for the year. Thank you. <laughs>